Republican Party in Nassau County and in New York State. Both of them came out today and announced George Santos should resign immediately for using deceit and lies to get elected. But House Speaker Kevin McCarthy with something of a turnaround and now says he won't make any take any action against Santos, including not blocking him from committees. As for Santos himself, he insists he's not going anywhere and he intends to stay as the congressman serving New York's third congressional district for the remainder of his brand new term. Long Island reporter Shante Lands is live in West Bear with our lead story tonight. Shante. Listen, Bill, brand new indeed. Today is the fourth day in office for Congressman George Santos, and today Republicans, both nationally and right here locally in Nassau County, are calling for him to step aside and resign. As calls grow for Long Island Congressman George Santos to resign, ABC obtains his resume, which digs deeper into his lies. For work, he claims to be a project manager for Goldman Sachs and an asset manager at Citigroup. And for his education, he puts down that he obtained his MBA from NYU and graduated from Baruch College in the top 1% of his class, summa cum laude, with a 3.89 GPA. The congressman later admitting that it all was a lie. The Nassau County GOP wants him out. He lied to me personally when he sought my endorsement. And while I'm offended and disgusted at his deceit, my true concern is for the residents of the 3rd Congressional District. On Capitol Hill, on his fourth day on the job. Congressman Santos, will you resign? I will not. Shortly after, Santos took to social media tweeting, quote, I will not resign. This coming on the heels of New York Democratic Congress members Dan Goldman and Richie Torres hand delivering a complaint filed to the House Ethics Committee to Congressman George Santos inside his office. The complaint is requesting an investigation into Santos over the disclosure of his campaign finances. The same investigation is underway by county, state and federal prosecutors. This as House Speaker Kevin McCarthy says he still plans to seat the embattled Republican on House committees. I try to stick by the Constitution. The voters elected him to serve. If there is a concern and he has to go through the ethics, we'll let him move through that. He also admitted to lying about his own Jewish heritage, saying he was a descendant of Holocaust survivors. It is simply tragic and outrageous and disgusting. So how did this happen? Nassau County Republican Committee Chairman Joe Cairo admitting to not properly vetting Santos or any other candidate. We were, we were duped here. How will you guys change moving forward? We're going to do a much uh, more intensive uh, interview process and background check. And both Suffolk County and state GOP agreeing with the Republicans here that George Santos should resign. But again, you just heard from him and you read his tweet. He has no plans to do so.